Linear Motion KCSE 2021 Question 19 Paper 1 the average speed of the pickup was 20 km per hour faster than the average speed of the lorry. The pickup took 45 minutes less than the lorry to cover a distance of 180 km. A. If the speed of the lorry was x km per hour. I. Write expressions in terms of x for the time taken by the lorry and the pickup respectively to cover the distance of 180 km, 2 marks. 2. Determine the speed of the lorry and that of the pickup, 5 marks. b. The distance between towns A and B is 240 km. On a certain day, the pickup started from Towns A at 8.30 a.m. and the lorry started from Town B at the same time. Determine the time the lorry and the pickup met. Three marks. So that is the question. Let us go straight to the solution. First part of the question is given uh, the speed of the lorry. We shall take this one to be x kilometers per hour. In the part one of the question, you're supposed to write expressions in terms of x, uh, time, that's for the time taken by the lorry and the pickup, respectively, to cover the distance of 180 kilometers. How do we find time? We find time by taking the distance covered, the distance covered, divided by the speed taken. So if we go to the time taken by the lorry, this will be given by the distance covered is 180 kilometers. It is given. Then the speed, the speed in part A of the question, we've been, uh, we have been required to give the speed as x kilometers, x kilometers per hour, x kilometers per hour. That is speed. Now let's go to the pickup. Uh, for the pickup, the same distance. Uh, the time taken will be given by the distance which is still the same 180 kilometers then the speed of the pickup uh, when you go to the first statement you given the average speed of the pickup was 20 kilometers per hour faster than the average speed of the lorry so if the speed of the lorry is x kilometers per hour and the average speed of the pickup is 20 kilometers faster the speed of the pickup will be x plus 20 so this would be divided by the speed which is x plus 20 because the speed of the pickup is 20 kilometers more than the lorry which is x so these are the two expressions for the time taken by the lorry and also the time taken by the pickup to cover that distance of uh, 180 kilometers now uh, we go to the other part now we have uh, we have written the expressions now part two determine the speed of the lorry uh, the speed of the lorry and that of the pickup how do you get the speed um, the speed is given there which is x but we need now to find that value of x what will enable us to get the value of x the first statement that we've given there since we have calculated the time taken by the lorry and the time taken by the pickup and also give you another statement here that the pickup took 45 minutes less than that of the lorry to cover the distance of 180 kilometers that should enable us to come up with an equation that will help us to calculate the value of x so we have the time taken by the pickup and the time taken by the lorry and we are given that the pickup took 45 minutes less so it was faster meaning if i take the time taken by the lorry i subtract the time taken by the pickup to cover the same distance that should give me 45 minutes and that is what i'm supposed to write so part two uh, this is what you're supposed to do so when i take the time taken by the by the lorry i don't need to write this i can omit these kilometers so this is the expression for the time taken by the lorry if i subtract the time taken by the pickup 
which is x plus uh, 180 divided by x plus 20 that should give me 45 minutes but since this speed is given in kilometers per hour i will not use the 45 minutes i have to convert 45 minutes uh, 45 minutes to hours so to convert 45 minutes to hours i just take 45 divided by 60 and this will give three quarters hour so therefore this should be equated to three quarter hours so that is now an equation showing that um the first statement there that the pickup took 45 minutes less than that of the lorry so this is the equation that is representing that there are several ways of solving this equation uh, i will solve uh, try to work out the left hand side uh, the left hand side is uh, these are given by two fractions which i'm going to use uh, we just uh, take uh, 180 divided by x subtract 180 divided by x plus 20 I just solve the normal way solve fractions get the LCM of x and x plus 20 which is x x plus 20 then I take the LCM x x plus 20 divided by x I'll get x plus 20 then I multiply by 180 of x plus 20 take the LCM I divide by x plus 20 I will get x so subtract 180 multiply by x just normal way solve fraction by getting LCM and working it out that is the left hand side of the equation this is when you open 180 times x you get 180 x plus 180 times 20 you get uh, 3600 then minus 180 x everything divided by this will be x squared plus 20 x so this one will simplify to this 180 and this one will uh, so out could subtract that will disappear will be zero so you remain with uh, 3600 remain with uh, 3600 divided by x squared plus 20 plus 20 and these should now be equated to three quarters because that was the left hand side of the equation that we we started with that is what we solved so once we do that at uh, this stage you can just cross multiply that 600 um, times 4 is equals to 3 multiply by x squared plus 20 just like that and then uh, this will give uh, that 600 times 4 will give 1400 is equals to 3x squared plus 60 so organizing this one to form a quadratic equation you get 3x squared plus and this is um x there's an x here that I have omitted, yeah, it is uh, somewhere here 20x squared plus 20x. I omitted that, uh, so this one should be having x. So once you open 3 times 20x, you get 60x. So this will give uh, 60x subtract 14400 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation. That is a quadratic equation. Several ways of solving it using factorization using the quadratic formula. Now, easiest way to solve this is by using the quadratic formula. If you compare general form of quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c is equals to zero, there's something that you'll notice here. If you compare these, uh, you will notice that a is equals to 3 a is equals to 3 b is equals to 60 and c is equals to negative 14 400 negative 14 400 
all right you can simplify that quadratic equation by dividing all through by three or you can just proceed it uh, proceed with it the, the way it is since you're using the calculator so having these values of a b and c i can use uh, now the quadratic formula where this is given by x will be given this is the quadratic formula b squared minus 4ac everything divided by 2a so substituting these values uh, b is going to give negative 60 plus or minus b squared is going to give uh, 60 squared minus 4 times a which is 3 times negative 14 400 like that everything divided by 2 times 3 so this will give negative 60 plus or minus this will give uh, 60 squared will give 3600 and then um, negative this is 4 times 3 you work it out here 4 times 3 4 times 3 times um work it somewhere here this is 4 times 3 times negative 400 will give um, 172 800 and to be positive since this negative here and this negative 72 800 172 yeah it is 172 800 then everything divided by by 6 so proceed so x is given by negative 60 plus or minus when you add uh, that 600 plus 172 800 you get 176 400 176 400 176 400 like that then uh, everything divided by 6 so this should give a negative 60 plus or minus the square root of 176 square root of 176 400 will give 420 divided by 6 so this one should give uh, the first value of x will be negative 60 plus 420 divided by 6 which should give 360 divided by 6 and this will give us 60 so the first value of x is 60 the second value of x will be uh, the, uh, the, the other value of x So x will be given by negative 60, negative 420 divided by 6. So this will give um, negative 480 divided by 6, which will be negative 80. So with these two values of x, uh, since we are dealing with speed, uh, we are going to ignore the negative speed that is uh, negative 80 speed. Um, that is... Uh, a negative speed which is deceleration and is not going to apply in this question so we consider the positive one so x is therefore 60 kilometers per hour now we just need to recall that um, the speed this x x kilometers per hour was the speed for the lorry and that is uh, what you've got 60 kilometers per hour then for the pickup will be x plus 20 and x is 60 so this will be 80 kilometers per hour so we have obtained the two speeds lorry and the pickup they are there now uh, what are we going to do now the next thing now uh, we can go to the last part of the question the distance between towns a and b is 240 on a certain day the pickup started from towns a at 8 30 and uh, the lorry started the town B at the same time. Determine the time the lorry and the pickup met. So for part B of the question, that is a question on relative speed. So we have that is uh, two places A and B. The distance between the two places is uh, 240 kilometers. We have. Um,
the pickup starting at A at 8.30 and the lorry starting at B. Alright, so the pickup starts uh, from A to B, that is the pickup. And you know the speed of the pickup is uh, 80 kilometers per hour, we have calculated. And then the lorry moving from B to A, so this is the lorry and the speed is uh, 60 kilometers per hour so the pickup uh, began this journey at 8 30 a.m so the question is determine the time uh, they met we have two points a and b 240 kilometers the pickup uh, starts at a at 8 30 or a speed of 80 kilometers per hour the lorry starts at the same time uh, 8 30 a.m at 60 kilometers per hour so you can see that the, the pickup and the lorry are moving in the opposite direction they are moving in the opposite direction we need to determine the time they met so to calculate the time they met we need to find time taken to meet how long did they take to meet and to get time we shall cut the distance divided by the speed the distance between the two is 240 kilometers but now for the speed we shall use something that we call the relative speed you can see these are uh, relative speed is the speed of moving bodies or moving body in with the all with the respect to the other the speed of a moving body with respect to the other so you can see here we have two moving bodies that they pick up on the lorry one is moving from a to b the other one is moving from uh, b to a so the relative speed when bodies are moving in opposite direction is obtained by adding because the speed will be more it is given by the sum of the two that is 80 kilometers per hour plus 60 kilometers per hour so when bodies are moving in the opposite direction the speed the relative speed will be more and we obtain that by adding the two if the bodies are moving in the same direction we to get the relative speed we get the differences of the speeds so in this case we add uh, so the relative speed uh, will be given by 140 kilometers per so that is the relative speed so this is what will give the time taken so to get the time taken uh, for them to meet we take the distance between them which is 240 then you divide by the relative speed which is uh, 140 kilometers per per hour so this one you just uh, use the calculator to divide uh, 240 kilometers divided by 140 kilometers per hour by using a calculator this one should give you when you do this division very well one hour and uh, 43 minutes one hour and 43 minutes so this is the time taken uh, for them to meet now therefore to get the time um, the time they met to get the time they met we just take uh, eight 30 a.m. and then we add one hour and 43 minutes and this one should give so 8 30 an hour 43 minutes so here you get 73 minutes which is when 60 is 13 and then this will give 10 13 a.m. so that is the time so 10 13 a.m. 10 13 a.m. that is the time the two minutes and that is how you're supposed to solve that question on linear motion